Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Delaney, if this is your first time clicking one of my videos. Today I wanted to talk about short and sweet Switch games. So I wanted to choose a few games that I know the playtime is kind of, is not really intensive. I really enjoy playing games that aren't really long playtimes because it's easier to get off my backlog. <laughs> So I have a few games that are probably about four to five, three to five hours long and you could most likely play them within one day or a weekend. So let's get started. First game on the list is Florence, which is an interactive storybook game. So I really enjoyed this game. It actually took me about an hour and a half to play, kind of like the length of a movie. It's about a 20-something girl named Florence and about her life, um, about her relationships, as well as just like her trying to navigate and like work and everything like that. So I really enjoyed it. It's such a like interesting, fun game. I like the concept of being able to interact with the story and being able to like, it's like maybe like little puzzles or just like um, how she interacts with the other characters in the game. It's like so quick to play and I really enjoyed it. And it constantly goes on sale in the Switch eShop. So the next game is A Short Hike. And A Short Hike is about a bird named Claire who is on this hike, <laughs> hiking park with her aunt. Um, but she needs to make a phone call so the objective of the game is for her to get to the top the highest peak and the hiking part to be able to make a phone call and I just found it so cute and wholesome so she's able to fly but um, you can only you have to collect these golden feathers to be able to go to different levels like to be able to fly with stamina um, and then you get to meet all these different characters that are around the nature park which I just found so fun because um, all of them have like either there's like a side quest for you to do or just like being able to um, play a game called stickball which I really had a lot of fun playing for like maybe way too long <laughs> but yeah I really I think this game is so much fun and it took me probably about four hours to play it um, um, it is very quick. I actually wish that it was a little longer because it was so much to do. I, I kind of completed most of it. Um, I'm not sure. I probably have like a few little side quests that I didn't get to finish. But yeah, I really enjoyed it and it's so satisfying when you actually finally make it to the top of the peak. So the next game is Untitled Goose Game. So Untitled Goose Game is exactly what you'd think it is. It's a, a indie title and it's about a goose who goes around this town basically causing mischief. And this actually get, this game is still on my wish list. I actually um, just picked it up. So I haven't really started playing it yet. But um, this game, you're able to go around and interact with all of these, the people um, in this town and basically wreak havoc. And I think it's hilarious and it looks like such a funny, clever game. And I like that there's like a puzzle element to it as well. And there's also a co-op version that they added so you can have two gooses that run around and freak havoc. And I, and I think that probably be a great game to play co-op one weekend as well. Next, the next game is called Gris and it's about this girl who has no color in her world and you can interpret it how you want to because I I feel like it's about the stages of grief but you can also interpret it like depression or any of those things. Each level you're going to find a new color or you find these little orbs to be able to bring the color back into the world and I, I love this game because the, water, the watercolors in this game like the illustrations are so beautiful beautiful and sometimes I just found myself taking just like a million screenshots because I really love the artwork of this world and I love the whole concept of her being in kind of like a void of colorless world but being able to find like the color to bring it back into her world is very interesting such a deep concept to me and I really just love that idea of um, how you find your voice or how you're able to get through these stages of grief or depression. Really enjoyed playing this game. It's actually one of my favorites. It's one of the first ones that I picked up on the Switch. So all the games that I recommend, um, short and sweet games. But what are all of you guys playing? Um, give me recommendations. Hope all of you guys are doing well as always. And thanks for watching if you made it this far to the video. So have a wonderful day. Bye.